Hey, welcome to another Innovation Production. Today I will be showcasing the Microsoft All-in-One Media Keyboard. Now today I'm going to be answering one main question, which is can you use this keyboard as a replacement for your normal desktop keyboard? First, let's do an overview of this keyboard. So first of all, it's a wireless keyboard that uses a USB dongle for its connection, as opposed to Bluetooth. Now this connection is 128-bit AES encrypted which makes it more secure than other keyboards which don't have encryption. But yet it's still hackable if you know what you're doing. This keyboard also has a trackpad here. It has customizable keys here through the software. It's got a few media and setting keys here and also volume control up and down. This keyboard is powered by two AAA batteries at the back, which is included. So can this keyboard be used as your main keyboard? Let's go through some positives. This keyboard is wireless, so it's convenient. It's compact. The keys are low profile, just like a laptop keyboard, but they actually feel quite good. As mentioned, all these shortcut keys here enable you to get to the functions that you want without manually having to go there. In terms of the trackpad, you have a few typical trackpad functions. For example, triple tap to select all. You got double tap, wait up, double tap and drag and select. You have pinch and zoom which is not the most responsive, but hey, it works. You also have two finger scroll, left and right, and also up and down. What you don't get with this keyboard is a number pad, which is really useful for data entry. And the trackpad also is not the greatest in precision, as I demonstrated earlier. But also, if you try and do something like this, let's say you want to create a table, and you want to exactly arrange the columns, so it's a bit fiddly to get it to the right spot that you want. And furthermore, if you try and use the left click button here, it's a bit difficult, but you have also this left click button here, which you can use instead of this one here. So yeah, if you want to use the keyboard for anything that's quite precise, for example, photo editing, video editing, or even like audio editing, it's a bit difficult. Now trackpads are never going to be as precise as mice or even trackballs and other pointing devices. And with a trackpad so close by, there's always a risk of accidentally moving the cursor somewhere else where you don't want it to be, which means you have to move it back to where you need it. Now, even though these keys feel okay to type on, they're quite cramped together. For example, the cursor keys feel a bit awkward to use. And these low profile keys will never feel as good as a normal keyboard or even mechanical keyboards. So in summary, even though I think this keyboard is great for some web browsing, watching movies or listening to music, or using it for your media center, it's not a great replacement for your normal keyboard. Thanks for watching.